Hillary aides lied to same anti-Trump FBI agent that nailed Flynn. If the past year and a half in politics has taught us anything, it is that many people, some in high places, are corrupt. We are also learning that many organizations that were once thought to remain apolitical are apparently deeply rooted in politics and crooked to boot. Take, for instance, the FBI in the case of Peter Sturzog, an FBI agent who was removed from special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation for have a demonstrable bias against President Donald Trump. Advertisement, story continues below. Strzok was found to be having an affair with Lisa Page, an FBI lawyer who worked for Deputy FBI Director Andrew McCabe, a man with deep Democratic Party ties of his own. After it was learned that Strzok had exchanged anti-Trump texts with Page, Strzok was demoted to push papers in the FBS Human Resources Department to find job for a human resources professional, no doubt, but Siberia for a trained agent as a CNN contributor put it defending Strzok's alleged professionalism and objectivity. Yet, according to the Daily Caller, Strzok was also deeply involved with the Bureau's investigation of Hillary Clinton's personal email server. He personally interviewed close Clinton aides Huma Aiden and Cheryl Mills, both of whom said laughably that they were not aware that Clinton had a private email server until after Clinton left the State Department. As the Daily Caller pointed out, emails released from 2010 and 2011 showed Aiden and Mills clearly discussing the server before Clinton left the State Department. So, we have three individuals known to have lied when speaking to Special Agent Strzok or his comrades, and yet only Flynn faces charges. There is no doubt that two of Clinton's top aides getting busted for lying to the FBI would have had undesirable effects on the campaign. But no matter how you spin it, this double standard is not fair. Naturally, this revelation about Aiden and Mills getting a free pass raises questions about the credibility of both the FBI and Mueller's team. Interestingly, CNN reported on Monday that Strzok was the agent responsible for softening the language that former FBI Director James Comey used when he closed the Clinton investigation. Strzok edited a draft of Comey's speech and changed the phrase grossly negligent to extremely careless. Of course extremely careless carries less legal weight than grossly negligent. That single change might have kept Clinton out of a prison cell. Additionally, Aiden and Mills may have ended up behind bars if Strzok had not changed the language in Comey's recommendation. At this point, it would seem apparent to anyone with good eyes and a sufficient command of the English language the Mueller's investigation is a partisan operation. Advertisement, story continues below. Trump has repeatedly claimed that the FBI is corrupt, and the more we learn about the organization, the more it looks like he might be right. The public deserves better from a special investigation bent on finding evidence that could impeach the president. It deserves honesty and it deserves the truth. Please like and share this story on Facebook and Twitter to spread the word about the corrupt FBI. What does this tell you about the FBI's investigation of President Donald Trump? Scroll down to comment below and below.